Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of Google Shopping Feed app by Simpersys. In this video, we are going to see how to install the Google Shopping Feed app on your Shopify store. Before starting the actual installation process, you should make sure your store is live on your custom domain. If you are testing the feed preparation before the store goes live, or, migrated to Shopify, we will have a separate video to help you do that. Storefront must not be password protected. To check custom domain setup status, please go to online store. Then click on domains. In this video, I am using one of the stores that is naholdesai.in. Here you can see that custom domain naholdesai.in is set as the primary domain, and www version of the domain is also added to the store, but, myshopify.com domain is not a primary domain. You can keep www version as primary domain too. It is just a personal preference, which one you would like to keep as a primary domain. Also, make sure you have enabled redirection of all your domains added to the store to the primary domain. However, when you are using apps like Langify, or, any other which helps you set up stores with different languages on different subdomains, you don't need to have all the domains redirecting to the primary domain. If you already have installed the app and want to confirm the domain settings, don't worry follow the process I just gave here. Now, to install the app, please, go to Apps page, or, you can directly go to Shopify Apps Store. Search, Google Shopping, in the App Store. Click on, Google Shopping Feed App. Click on Get button to initiate the installation process. Approve the permissions asked by app. Then you will be taken to a page where you will have to authorize the app to connect with your merchant center so that my app can manage products in your merchant center via API. Select the right Google account on which you already have signed up with Google Merchant Center. Please note that when you authorize the Google account to link with the app, the app can communicate with your merchant center only and it does not get access to your any other Google property account. Once you have authorized the account, you will be taken to a page where it has a list of merchant center IDs. These IDs are the account IDs to which you have access through the linked Google account. Most of the times, merchants have only one account. So it will show only one ID. If you have access to multiple Google merchant center accounts, it will show you multiple IDs in the list. Please select the right one which has got this store's business and website URL added to it. If you have a multi-client account, please select the parent account ID first from the drop-down. Then it will show you the list of sub-accounts in another drop-down that will appear below the main account drop-down. Select the sub-account on which you have got this store's website added to. If during the installation process app says, there is a mismatch in the store's primary domain and domain verified in the Google Merchant Center. Kindly follow the another video of Merchant Center Setup, that can help you set up the domain and its verification. Video link is given in the description below. In another possibility, if the app says that shipping settings are not done in the Merchant Center, we have another video that can help you complete the shipping settings. Link of the shipping settings in the Merchant Center video should be there in the description below. Now, you just have connected Google Shopping Feed app with Google Merchant Center. In the next video, we are going to see what all these settings are and how should you use them. Hope this helps. If you have any other query or if this does not help, kindly write us at support at See you again in another video.